3D tunnel seismic prediction while excavating with TBM and rock mass. The TSP development story began in the early 1990s and continues to this day. In 2022, we are taking another step towards digital construction with a special focus on the use of a TBM. TSP603 wireless means easy and straightforward seismic exploration in a TBM area while maintaining the highest precision. With the extension of TSP Impact, we offer a mechanical source that excites wave signals quickly and with high energy replacing the use of explosives as a seismic source. The new TSP603 wireless system in combination with TSP Impact expands your view ahead into the future. 3D tunnel seismic prediction measures and analyses in true 3D space the velocities of compressional and shear waves. They change in the event of a geological discontinuity and are directly correlated with geotechnical parameters. TSPWE means data acquisition while excavating. It is easy to apply and enables a geological advance exploration range of 100 meters and more. Results are provided within 3 to 4 hours and with an accuracy of 85 to 90 percent. How does the data acquisition work? Four to six seismic receivers are deployed through the concrete segment into the rock mass. A mechanical source sends seismic waves from the TBM shield into the rock mass. The leading wave fronts and the wave fronts running directly to the seismic receivers are shown here in red. If a forward traveling wave encounters a geological fault, it is reflected and can thus reach the seismic receivers as shown in blue. As a general practice, the triaxial receivers are placed about 8 to 10 meter apart in the sidewall. This requires 1.5 meter deep holes of 50 millimeters diameter. A double shield machine has a telescopic front shield and a main shield. Between them is the gripper shoe. The last segment ring is installed in the tail area of the main shield. When the ring is finished, the auxiliary thrust cylinders are moved against it. This is done while the gripper is radially braced against the rock and the machine is driven forward by means of the feed cylinders. When the stroke of the feed cylinders is completed, the TBM stops, the gripper is released, and the cylinders are retracted. Immediately before or immediately after the cylinders are retracted, the pneumatic hammer can autonomously stretch radially against the rock through an opening in the telescopic shield and strike immediately. In just two or three minutes, enough strikes have been made. The trigger box connected to the hammer sends each exact strike time to the operator's tablet. The seismic receivers record incoming waves per strike. Each receiver is coupled with a transceiver. All transceivers, the trigger box next to the hammer and the tablet form an autonomous Wi-Fi network with their own router. The transceiver converts the signals into digital data and sends it to the tablet. This is achieved with a precision of 1 to 2 microseconds and all this wirelessly in the TBM area. This procedure is now carried out after the end of each stroke of the TBM, so that a different impact position is approached each time, and thus reflection seismic data from different spatial positions to a fault can be collected and analyzed. The advantages of the hammer operation are obvious, it is lightweight, flexible mountable and even retrofittable and powerful with a 100 meter range. For this, the hammer only needs compressed air and a standard power supply. The hammer works in any position and can perform 15 strikes per minute. It consists of two main components easy to separate and with 28 kilograms equal in weight. Amberg TSPEs is the new software generation of TSP. There are two applications acquisition and processing. Both exchange data with each other and the easiest way to do this is via the Amberg cloud. In just two clicks, the data can be uploaded to the cloud after the tunnel operation. This is done with a unique encrypted identifier that only the data of the two acquisition and processing partners know. For example, the data from the tunnel can very quickly reach an authorized expert who processes it and returns a geological forecast. The processing of TSP data using Amberg TSPE's processing is very intuitive and quick to learn. Meaningful results are obtained in two to three hours. 
The three-dimensional velocity distributions of for example P waves can use a surface rendering to focus especially on anomalies characterized by low velocity zones. A geological model of the prediction area completes the conclusion. The full 3D geometry of the tunnel project is processed, and results can thus be displayed directly in the context of the existing or planned tunnel axes. Surface rendering is useful to determine the size and extent of the anomaly in 3D. In addition, any kind of information from an existing borehole can also be displayed and used for interpretation. Beside the 3D information of the P-wave velocities, those of the shear waves can also be provided as further lithological parameters. In addition, the values of the dynamic Young's modulus are determined, which characterize the stiffness of the rock. The Poisson's ratio provides valuable information about water hazard zones. All these parameters derived from the TSP data are used to determine support requirements and design remedial measures. With the help of TSP, they can prevent the risk of failure and collapse in the tunnel with an accuracy of 85 to 90 percent.